Hi there, welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Holy Word for Morning Revival for today on the general topic of, Experiencing, Enjoying, and Expressing Christ, Part 1, 2024 Summer Training, 2024 July Semi-Annual Training, Week 1, Day 3. The title of this portion of enjoyment is, Experience and Enjoy Christ as Our Physician to be Healed in Our Spirit and Soul. We hope you enjoy the Lord while listening to this portion and we welcome your comments with what you have enjoyed. As believers in Christ, we need to experience, enjoy, and express Christ as our physician so that we may be healed in our spirit and soul and be the citizens of His heavenly kingdom on the earth. The Lord Jesus as the King of the heavenly kingdom came not as a judge but as a physician, for He came to heal the sick ones not only in their body but mainly in their spirit and in their soul. We can experience the crucified Christ and live a crucified life to experience Christ as our healer. Hallelujah, Christ is our physician and our healer. When we read the Gospels we are simply amazed at this wonderful person who came not to be with the self-righteous Pharisees or those in a high class but with the sinners, the poor, the sick, the tax collectors, and those who were despised by others. What a Saviour we have! We can enjoy and experience Christ as such a one today. He came to us in our low condition and He shined on us. He did not come to condemn us, rather, He came to shine on us and bring in the light of life. When we saw the Lord Jesus by the hearing of the Gospel, we were drawn to Him. Just as the tax collectors and sinners in the Lord's days, we are drawn to the Lord Jesus, for He is the most wonderful One, and He came to love us, care for us, and save us. Yes, He is righteous, holy, and glorious, and He has no sin, but He didn't come to judge or criticize us but to shine on us. His words were full of authority, for they convey God Himself as He remained in the organic union with the Father to speak the words He heard from the Father. When we allow the Lord to shine on us, there's healing in the rays of this wonderful sunshine, He heals us. We need to be healed not just in our body from our physical sickness but even more, in our soul from our soulish sicknesses and in our spirit from our spiritual sicknesses. As we walk through the world and take care of this and that, as we do this and that, we pick up germs, and we are hurt in many ways, furthermore, we hurt others, and we get sick in our spirit and in our soul. The Lord does not condemn or reject the sick ones, He does not rebuke them or criticize them. Rather, He receives them, He speaks to them, He even touches them, and He heals them. What a Christ we have! This is our dear Saviour. Everyone can come to the Lord in a private and intimate way and open to Him concerning their problems, sicknesses, ailments, and illnesses, and the Lord as the physician can heal us of our sick condition. May we learn to enjoy and experience Christ as our physician and our healer in our daily life and in our church life. The Lord Jesus ministered as a physician to heal the sick ones according to mercy and grace. Matt. 9 9-13 shows us that, in calling people to follow Him for the kingdom, the Lord Jesus as the King of the Heavenly Kingdom ministered as a physician. He was reclining at the table and many tax collectors and sinners were reclining with Him and His disciples to eat with them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to the Lord's disciples, Why does your teacher eat with the tax collectors and sinners? When the Lord heard this, He said, Those who are strong have no need of a physician, but those who are ill. But go and learn what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. The Lord did not come to call the righteous but sinners. The Lord came as the Son of Righteousness with healing in His wings, and He came not for the self-righteous ones but for those who need Him, the ones who are sick. The Lord didn't come as a judge, He came as a physician. A judge's judgment is according to righteousness, but a physician's healing is according to mercy and grace. The Lord didn't come to call the righteous but sinners. The people who were made the people of the heavenly kingdom were lepers, 8-2-4, paralytics, vv. 5-13, 9-2-8, the fever ridden, 8-14-15, 8-14-15, the demon-possessed, vv. 16-28-32, those ill with all kinds of diseases, v. 16, despised tax collectors, and sinners, 9-9-11. If he had come to them as a judge, none of them would have been qualified to be his people, all would have been condemned and rejected. But praise the Lord, Jesus came to minister as a physician to heal the sick ones according to mercy and grace, and he recovered, healed, enlivened, and saved the sick ones so that they would be reconstituted and be His new and heavenly citizens. With such ones, the healed, reconstituted, saved, and restored sick ones the Lord establishes His heavenly kingdom on this corrupted earth. If the Lord had visited us pitiful people as a judge, we all would have been condemned and rejected, and none of us would have been qualified, selected, and called to be the people of His heavenly kingdom, Matt. 82-16, 28-32, 9-2-11, PSA. 103-1-4, 107-17-22. 103 to 1 to 4, 107 17 to 22. However, the Pharisees who thought they were righteous according to the law, which they did their best to keep and told others they kept it, 
were offended when they saw Jesus being with the sinners and tax collectors. They thought they knew the law, they were versed in the Word of God, and they needed a better teacher, not a healer. But the Lord humbled them by telling them to learn more, especially to learn that God wants mercy, not sacrifice. The Lord came to call not the righteous but the sinners, there's none righteous, not even one, Romans 3:10. and those who think they are righteous are self-righteous, Luke 18 9. May we be saved from thinking we are righteous, may we realize we are at best self-righteous, and at worst we are sinners, sick ones, in need of a physician. Blessed are those who don't think they are righteous but who recognize that they are sinful. Thank the Lord that He came to minister as a physician, to heal, recover, enliven, and save us so that we might be reconstituted to be His new and heavenly citizens, with whom He could establish His heavenly kingdom on this corrupted earth. There is none righteous, not even one, Romans 3:10. All the righteous are self-righteous, as were the Pharisees, Luke 18 9. The kingly Saviour did not come to call these but sinners. We are the sinners. We are sinners, those in desperate need of a Saviour and a healer, a physician, Christ came for us, the sinners, the sick ones. In this world where self-righteousness prevails and where people think they are okay and in need of nothing, we need to realize that we all are sick and in need of a dear Saviour, a lovely, intimate physician. The Lord came for us to heal our sick condition, and He doesn't judge us but rather, He heals us and enlivens us. Lord Jesus, thank You for coming as a physician to heal us and enliven us. We admit, Lord, that we are not righteous nor strong, we are sick and we are sinners, and we need You. We need You as our lovely and intimate physician. Thank You for not coming to us as a judge to judge us according to righteousness. Thank You for coming to us as a physician according to mercy and grace. Hallelujah, the Lord visited us, pitiful people, not as a judge to condemn or reject us but as a physician to heal our sick condition. Praise the Lord, we who are sick are qualified to come to the Lord as our physician so that He may heal us and reconstitute us with Himself to make us the people of His heavenly kingdom. Amen, Lord, it is all of Your mercy and grace. We come to You as we are again and again. We need You as our lovely and intimate physician. We need Your healing. We do not think we are righteous, we clearly know we are sinners in need of a healer experience and enjoy Christ as our physician to be healed in our spirit and soul. The Lord Jesus is not just a historical figure who once lived and worked and died, and then He resurrected more than 2,000 years ago. Rather, He is a living and real person who today is the Spirit ready for us to enjoy and experience in a subjective way. Just as He came 2,000 years ago to heal the sick ones and not the self-righteous ones, He still comes today as a physician for us to enjoy and experience today we can experience and enjoy Christ as the physician to be healed in our spirit and soul. We believers in Christ are those who at least initially enjoy and experienced Christ as the physician, for we opened to Him, He healed our spirit, and now He is in us. But we need to continue to enjoy and experience Him as such a one. In the church life love should prevail, for the church is not a police station to arrest people based on what they have done or a law court to judge people according to their deeds and actions, but a hospital, a home, and a school. The church life today is a hospital where the Lord as the physician cares for all the patients, we all are sick ones, sick not just in our body but even more in our soul and spirit, and the Lord is in the process of healing us. The church is a home where the Lord cares for us in love and imparts His love into our hearts so that we can also care for one another. The church is also a school where the Lord as the teacher imparts the laws of God into our heart and instructs us in righteousness. In the church life, we all can experience, enjoy, and express Christ as the physician to others. First, we need to come to the Lord as we are, realizing that, even though He may not heal our body for our physical ailments, He is always ready to heal the sicknesses in our soul and spirit. He came to heal us inwardly, not just outwardly. Our real sickness is not of the body but of the soul and spirit. We are like the tax collector in Luke 18 who prays and asks for the Lord's mercy, for we are so weak, so sick, and so low. We should not be like the Pharisee in this story, who prayed to himself and praised himself for what he has done for God, rather, we need to realize that our real condition is one of psychological and spiritual sickness, and we need to experience and enjoy Christ as our physician. As our physician, the Lord heals us mainly in our spirit and our soul, healing us of our spiritual sicknesses. The tax collectors and sinners were not physically sick but spiritually sick. Matt. 9 10, 13, Proverbs 4 20-23. First, we need to see that we are sick, then, we need to come to the Lord and experience and enjoy Him as our physician. The Lord is not judging us, he is not condemning or criticizing us because of our sickness, He simply wants to heal us. As we experience the crucified Christ and live a crucified life, the resurrected Christ becomes our healing power, and the Lord becomes our healer, Exo. 15 22-27. After the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea, they journeyed for three days, and they became thirsty. 
Then they came to some waters that were bitter, so they called that place, Mara, meaning bitter, and they complained to Moses. Moses, in his turn, came to the Lord, crying out to Jehovah, and he showed him a tree. Moses cast it into the waters, and the waters became sweet, the bitter waters became the sweet waters of the Lord's presence. The Lord then revealed himself to the children of Israel as the one who heals them, for he is Jehovah their healer. Amen. 1 Pet. 2.24 says that the Lord carried up our sins on his body onto the tree, this tree is the cross, the crucified Christ. We need to enjoy and experience the crucified Christ in our daily life, and we need to live a crucified life one with Christ, when we do this, we will experience the resurrected Christ as our healing power, and the Lord becomes our healer. Hallelujah, the Lord is our healer. We can experience and enjoy Christ as our physician to heal our sick condition in our soul and in our spirit. We don't know what is our sickness and how many ailments we have, but when we come to the Lord, He shines on us, and there's healing in His wings. He heals us. He enlivens us. He restores us. We can experience, enjoy, and even express Christ as the physician, for He in us will speak a comforting word, a healing word, and even an enlivening word to others as we live one spirit with Him today. Lord Jesus, we want to experience and enjoy You as our physician. We open to You. We come to You as we are, with all our soulish and spiritual sicknesses. We need You. We believe that You are our healer. We are not righteous, Lord, and we are not all right. We come to You as sick ones to be healed by You. We open our soul to You with all its sicknesses. We exercise our spirit and open our inner being to You. Heal us in our spirit and soul. Heal us of all our spiritual sicknesses. We want to experience the crucified Christ and live a crucified life so that the resurrected Christ may become our healing power and the Lord may become our healer. Amen, Lord, we take you as our healer. We want to be one with you in our daily living. Keep us in our spirit, living a crucified life so that the resurrected Christ may become our healing power. O Lord, may we be those who experience, enjoy, and express Christ as the physician today.